I will interview my project. And the first question is called, should we make it glow in the dark? Well, I think if you had bookmarks that glowed in the dark, that would be good because I like to read before I go to bed. And when I turn off the light, maybe I wouldn't want to know where my books are or if I'm reading in some place where it's dark and I've misplaced the book. Well, no, I wouldn't be reading where it's dark, but if I'm in some dark location and I'm trying to find my book, like my bedroom at night, a glow-in-the-dark bookmark would help me do that. So I think that could work out. Okay, next question. Should we add QR code for popular book to the bookmark? Um, well, I think a QR code, if it could be used in the library to help you find, locate a book, that would be good because, for example, a student just asked me where books about games are. If we had a QR code and we could scan it, if it were, say, on a bookmark even, and it would tell us where the book is, that would help that student, I think, go out there and find the book. Next question. We can add a QR code so that when people scan, it will link back to the school website? Yeah, that, well, that sounds like a good idea because it could maybe if somebody had the, uh, say they have the bookmark but not the book. If you had that QR code and you could scan it and if that could let you know if the book's in the library or not, then I think that would be a good idea. And the last question is, what kind of adding value to our bookmark design? Um, well, I think I like bookmarks. I might have showed a couple of examples. Um, I've got some, for example, this is a bookmark that students made a couple of years ago and it comes from The Lorax by Dr. Seuss. So I think that's a neat bookmark. If you're out and about, you might find bookmarks like this. This bookmark came from Australia. Okay. So yeah, that's neat to add things to bookmarks. Thank you for interview.